we're excited to, to put on this meeting and to have the help of these um, guys like Jim and Jerry. What we'd like our guests to take away is two or three things that are practical, not just theory or information. We want them to take home some good practical information. And we're getting a lot of questions around tillage, vertical tillage. We're always running into different <clears throat> issues around compaction situations lacking in biology and around the vertical tillage. We're starting to see some of our clients over time that have been religiously using those tools, starting to get, to, to get some situations of harder ground restrictions and things like that. When we talk about reducing tillage or adding cover crops or crop diversity, uh, continuous cover is what that means for the soil. You're a part of Minnesota, everybody worries about cold soils, warming it up and everything else. That's where I think strip till has an advantage. I want to try to establish um, a real basic understanding of soil behavior. Once people understand how this is working in their soils, and the phenomenon of microerosion is very real. I want to talk about percolation as well, and what happens in the soil ecosystem when we don't have good percolation. It, it affects uh, all kinds of things like root system behavior. It affects rhizophagy. I have three farmers lined up. One will be on a video that we've produced up in Michigan, 500 cow dairy farm. Another one will be with Carl Brubaker, who is a swine producer over in Ontario uh, Province, up. Canada. And the third one is a 1800 cow dairy farmer from Middleton, Wisconsin. So I think we get people that, that are in like areas to start sharing experiences and everything else, then then we've got a win-win in terms of how we how we interact together and how we go forward.